Alright, so good morning everyone. Uh, welcome back to the mod of Redemption. Now, I can already tell today's recording is going to be a little strange for me because since the last time I played the mod, all I've really done is play classic Terraria from over 12 years ago. So, modern Terraria, what even is that? I don't know, but we're going to figure it out together. Yeah, so I wanted to start today's episode underground by the portal with our new favorite person, Calavia. That's right, because we have one little thing to finish up here, and then we're doing the Wall of Flesh. We've not even been to hell. We've, we've not been to hell. What? <laughs> That's mad. Okay, all right. Dead ringer time. Dead ringer. What do we do with the dead ringer again? Don't even worry about it. Me, Terraria professional. What have I done since playing last? <laughs> Read books, of course. Hey, you see that lass over yonder? There'd be something soulful she carries. I can sense it. Would you, out of the goodness of your heart, confront her about it for me? Don't want to assume nothing, but she might be keeping a spirit captive. All right. Uh, let's see. Captive spirit. Hmm. Oh, so you noticed, yeah? I carry a bauble containing a spirit. I didn't elaborate on my job because it's none of your business. Alas, clarification is in order, so you don't get any wrong ideas. Explain it. The spirit I carry is of the original wielder of the Blade of the Mountain, Cryfra, who was slain in the isolated range. She was part of a unique group whose souls were bound to another. And due to this, I was tasked with retrieving her body and soul to send back to the bastion of a rum. Is that right? <laughs> uh, rum. The Baron deemed this of utmost priority. I recognize the taboo nature of the ensnaring a spirit in a glass, but I hope you understand now. You keep a corpse in a bauble. Oh, oh, he's not pleased. Oi, I wouldn't take that spirit back to Aram if I were ya. And why would that be? Oh my gosh, I'm right in the middle. Forgive my bluntness, but the barons of Arum are nothing but... Um, uh, sorry, you can you lot can read this. Me, I read books, so, you know, this is just... This is, it's basic to me. Wouldn't waste my time. Uh, as have I, in a more direct sense. Just trust me, lassie. Break free. Uh, ca ca Kafira's spirit, let her truly rest. To doubt the wisdom of a liberated spirit would be most imprudent cool like i'm gonna like i'm gonna attempt this i'll free up uh, okay is that a promise what is this scene right now i'm just a chicken in between a very moral gray area right was that it are you done uh you were the first ken i've met here all right requ request it Kythera's spirit feels different now. I never realized the aura I felt was not of her power, but of a strong negative emotion. It was foolish to assume the feeling was the norm for spirits and her splendor. I can comprehend her emotions more clearer, and I do believe she's willing to give you her crutch if you have something to imbue. Uh, I need one of these bad boys. Okay. Um, do I have one in here? Let me let me put this down. Let me put this down. Okay. Do I need two for the piggy bank, or is it just one? It's it's two. Okay, give me give me that thing. There we go. Right. So we got the. Uh, I, I was gonna read Crimble. <laughs> as as we know, I do read books. Uh, summons the great spirit of Kyphera, blade of the mountain. Right click to tug the spirit back into your position. All right. Okay. Cool. 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 I'm all over the place today. Like I say. I've not played old Terraria in a modern Terraria. What? I don't know. You're ready to leave. Thank you for your help and sorry for the trouble. What lies ahead uh, makes me uneasy, but I'll make it through to reunite with my squadron and finally return to my family. There is no better motivation than that. Farewell, stranger. Farewell. All right, off you go. Are you pleased? Great, you figured out how to call me. All right, okay. Cool. Yeah, well, we're done here. We're all, we're done. We're done. It's all done. And I got my forge, if I need it, I guess. I don't know if there is any reason. Okay, right. Wall of flesh time. That's right. Wall of flesh time. Um, I still can't get over the fact we've not been to hell. 
Okay, so what I'm going to do to to get this done right, we are going to dig down. All right, this is classic Terraria. I'm just going to dig a elevator. Because I feel like it's probably going to be important for later that we have like a nice clear path down. So I'm just going to do that. But yeah, I've been away for uh, for about a week now, just working on videos and whatnot. So, um, so hopefully while I've been away, you've had a nice time. I do know here in Britain, it's the Easter break. So if you're in education or you work in education, how are you enjoying your time off? Me? I had a pretty good Easter. It was actually really nice. As you'll know, I'm in my, my gym era, my diet era. Did I take some time to eat an Easter egg? I did. I did. I had a, I had a Cadbury's mini egg one. It was kind of great. I'm not going to lie though, right? I, I, felt, I felt real shame afterwards because I smashed that whole Easter egg in in one day. And I'm like, you know, new era James, right? But I did. It was oh, it was good, though. I'm not, I'm not even going to lie. I'm not even going to lie. It was the best. So, you know, can't, can't feel too bad about it. Did you have an Easter egg? What was your Easter egg? Did you find it was uh, slimmer this year? I've heard chocolate companies try and claim that the reason why Easter eggs are slimmer this year, right? Like, depth flies. So it's like somebody sat on them. They're trying to claim that it's so you can make the egg thicker. Nah, the, my egg was not thicker. My egg was just smaller. Chocolate companies, who are you lying to? Nobody's buying it. Do you know what? Do you know why chocolate companies get away with it? I'm just gonna tell it how it is. It's because nobody saves their Easter egg, right? If we had a historian that had been putting aside Easter eggs for the past 10 years, we'd be able to be like, right, I'm getting out the, the little measuring device, all right? We're gonna check the thickness of this egg. All right, nobody can do it because these eggs don't exist anymore. It's like cream eggs. Cream eggs used to be bigger. There was more filling in them, I swear, right? Can I prove it? No, because there are no cream eggs left. All I'm saying is, if you've got an Easter egg, just can you put it in a cupboard for a year for me? <laughs> <laughs> and we'll start a class action lawsuit against the chocolate companies. All right, we're taking them down because I'm not standing for it. You know, I Easter eggs are so expensive. Like my mini egg one was a tenner, a tenner on an Easter egg. I don't know what's going on here. That's actually why I've been away. I've just been, I've just been furious, too furious to record. Ooh, take a little look at how fancy this is. All right. So this is like another little structure, another little mini biome. Yeah, all right. Uh, let's check this out. Now, is this one of the ones where we mine into it or do we have to like come in at the side? Can you actually mine this block? Oh, you can, all right. Gaffix, don't get wrecked. Okay, cool. This should prove to us whether we are ready for the wall of flesh. Wait a minute, if I go into this, uh, I can't remember the name of this mode, ghostly mode. That's what I'm calling it. I should be able to get the spirits that drop, right? Yeah, I can. Uh, so, bearded hatchet. Cool. So, this is like a, a variation, I'm assuming, on, a, you know, some of the other little structures that we've found so far. Uh, we can talk to you with the dead ringer. Hello. Rah! Ha! I saw you coming with your fancy artifact. Knew you might call me with it. So, I was ready to give you the jump. No reaction? Come on. I yelled pretty loud. Not even a slight shiver in your boots. Whatever. What's this about? They call me the Brain Cleaver back in my prime. For reasons I'm sure you can figure out. My real name was something less intense. Brommel. I was a warrior of Athol's captain in the old kingdom of Kol... <laughs> Believe me, right? Well, no. <laughs> Do you look at this word and your brain knows what to say? Dulla mode. Ugh, what is this? Like, do I just not read enough fantasy to, to not just like look at this and get it? Do I need to read Game of Thrones to understand what's happening here? Before the undead took over, now it's known as the Olden Ruins. Cool. All right. Uh, Olden Ruins. A rotting landmass east of Gartharum. The folk of it here, the fall came up northeast. Migrating from the sinking Aran Mount. <laughs> this series is a second hand embarrassment. They <laughs> they named their new land Aldal Mount, um, meaning Great Swamp in your tongue. 
but after lifetimes of glory, it was renamed to Col Dullamadabla, meaning immovable swamp kingdom. It was indeed an impenetrable land until the God of Decay appeared. God of Decay, a disease swept through. I just, I don't, I just don't want to read this. <laughs> I'm, I'm dying inside every time I see this word. Like an airborne tsunami. The cause was the false god of decay who roamed Tepharam, Garpharam's name in ancient times. It rotted and corroded flesh and turned humans into undead. The swamps we discovered were where the infection thrived most. To the folk who yet lived abandoned... <laughs> Abandoned the kingdom and travelled further west. Such hard times they were. <laughs> okay, okay, all right. Look, you lot, you lot can read this. <laughs> There's so much to read. Oh, all right. <laughs> okay, cool. All right, do I no? Right, you lot read it. Go on, off you go. Just get reading. All right, pause. We're gonna do next one. All right, cool. Of course, but first, I'd like you to give my corpse a weapon. Let my bone, let the boneheads and tomb raiders know I died fighting. A big old battle axe. You want the grave steel battle axe, okay? Grave steel battle axe. Is that an upgrade to this bearded hatchet? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on anymore. All right. All right. Uh, let's give you. Oh wait, we got a we got a dead ringer this one again. Here we go. I, why do I always forget how to do it? Okay, offer grave steel battle axe. Uh, give me something to imbue first. Okay, don't worry about it. We're off down here, and we're off to go get one. Yeah, I do wanna I do wanna use these summons more. I feel like I'm I am neglecting them a little bit. I mean, obviously it, it's weird, right? Because I haven't played, you know, as you, as you know, in a in a couple of days. So when I'm like, oh, I haven't used them in a while, like it actually feels like I haven't used them in a while. Whereas like in terms of episode numbers, maybe I use some in episode 12, for example. But just, I feel, it's this weird sense of guilt about not using them now. What is going on with me? Yeah, I wanna, I wanna make sure I'm using them. The thing is though, we're gonna do Wall of Flesh how I normally do it with a water walking potion. So these summons, I don't think they're gonna be all right. Because I'm not going to have like a row of blocks for them to walk on. Okay, right. Imbue. Thank you. What did we get? We got the Crooks card, Gaffic Soldiers. Cool. All right. Very nice. Very, very nice. Right. Back to the elevator. All right. So, welcome back. Uh, Wow. I just realized that's a pretty weird jump cut. What a weird jump cut. Hey, so for a little bit of like movie magic, a little bit of behind the scenes, uh, the first half or like the video you've just watched was actually recorded about five days ago. That's right. And why? Well, it's because I realized uh, I was, I was just a little bit burnt out. Like I was playing and I was like, oh, I'm not like feeling it. And I think it's because I did such a big stint of classic Terraria. I jumped into this and I was like, oh, yeah, I've, I've maybe played a little bit too much in too short of a time. And so I was like, you know what? I owe it to the couch itself to not play when I feel like that. To, to only ever play when I feel fully energized and ready for some Terraria. Um, but what have I been up to for the past five days? Well, I've been reworking a video I started back in January. This is absolutely killer to me, the fact that it's not done. It's getting done. I am not leaving April without at least being partly done. Yeah, so I did that. Uh, I've been uh, playing through Cyberpunk in my free time. That's been pretty fun. Uh, I still haven't finished the game yet. I almost finished it, and then the Phantom Liberty DLC came out, and I restarted, and then I was like burnt out on that. And so I've jumped back into it again. It's great. I really do like that game. I mean, it took me ages to get the game to click with me, but now I'm like the biggest cyberpunk guy. All right. I'll tell you all I watch the, the anime. I don't watch anime for those that um, do not know. Um, well, here's the thing. It's a genre I started to dabble in now. Um, I was never really keen on it as a kid. And I'm not fully keen on it 
as an adult, but I kind of am now in a weird way. Like, so I've been, I, I, I enjoyed the anime anyway. I don't know if I mentioned it months ago, but I thought it was fantastic. And I'm like, if you play Cyberpunk, you got to then go watch Edge Runners. Edge Runners was class. I loved it. I actually did love it. I've also seen a little bit of One Piece. Although knowing that it's a thousand and something episodes is a little demotivating. But I think if you treat it, right, this is how I treat the show. Which I've heard also gets slow and stuff like this. But I don't mind, right? You've got to treat it as... If they never finish this thing, because I don't know if they have. I don't think they have. I don't think it's ever getting finished, right? I think that's the thing with it. You have to treat it like, if they never finished it, would you be okay? And I'm like, yeah, cool. I like a good little pirate story. All right, there's not a lot of pirate media out there. Not a lot of great pirate games. I think I've played the good pirate games because there's only one and it's Black Flag. And I do really like that game. So, um, so yeah, I've seen, I don't know how many I've seen. I think it's about 100 episodes. So that's like one tenth, maybe. It, they've probably come. Well, here's the thing, right? They have a sub. They have like this streaming app called Crunchyroll here in here in Britain, right? I'm not getting paid to say this, although if they did want to give me some money, all right, I will accept it, right? Feel free to to just send me an envelope full of cash. I, I, I'll take it. Um, because I've got an account on that, they'll email me and be like, "Oh, there's a new episode added," and I'm like, "Come on, like, how am I meant to finish this? Do you just keep adding episodes week by week?" I guess that's, you know, for people that are at the end of the grind. Sure, it's a good thing. Or it's not. I don't know. Um, so, yeah, the plan is now is to prepare hell. Um, but essentially what I'm doing right now is I'm just gathering uh, some hellstone so that we have enough for a molten pick and maybe uh, a new crafting recipe if there is one. Should we go find out if there's a new crafting recipe? I think wall of flesh will be tomorrow, by the way. I think that's the plan. I think we, we get this little prep done and then we... We do that tomorrow. There are other things I want to do, though. Like, I really... There's two things I want to get done. I want to go to the dungeon. Oh, yeah. I extended this room. I want to go to the dungeon to grab uh, some bones so that I can make a void bag. Because I, I really don't like playing with that void bag anymore. It's, it's a game changer. Truly, by nature, as an update is and always will be, a game changer. Um, but there are game changers. I want to go do that. I also want to go back into the jungle and go get um, the little anklet so that we've got that. I want to make sure that that's done so that we get speedier boots. Um, and then I'll feel pretty content. Now, is there anything here that's brand new? I don't think there is. I don't think there is. I mean, we could look at crafting recipes, I'm sure. But I don't need to. It's weird seeing achievements pop up in Team Mod Loader. Still not used to that. And we'll make the sluggish imp staff because why not? Why not? All right? Why not? All right. So we're in the jungle. Uh, my Terraria actually crashed, uh, but everything is a-okay. So yeah, that's good. Uh, but essentially, we are here for some bones. And also, I'll take a shadow key as well because there are obsidian chests down in hell. And it feels a little weird to not open them. You know, some runs of Terraria... I don't bother. Genuinely, I don't. Oh, well, there we go. All right. Don't even need to go on my tangent. It's fine. But yeah, well, I'll say it. I'll say it's fine. All right. What am I afraid of? On some runs, I don't open them. But it does feel strange. It feels like wasteful because I feel like you could sell the contents of the chests and get like a fair bit of money. So it's like leaving money on the table. And that's just wrong. Okay. That's how that feels. I'm trying to think, is there anything else that's happened that I want to chat about um, over the past five days? I don't think there is. Off the top of my head, I'm leaving a little pause here to see if I... Oh, no, wait. Okay, an idea has struck me. This is what I wanted to talk about because it's time for a little bit of audience participation. That's you lot. Hey, how you doing? All right. <laughs> How's life? No, for real though, I did have a question for you lot because, I don't know, it's, it's something I'm thinking about and I wanted to know what you would think of the same question. Okay, right, here's, here we go. Let me set this up. So, I got recommended a video from Jack Septikai where he was talking about, I think I've already watched this video, by the way. I think I watched it about a year ago. Anyway, I re-watched it. Anyway, he was talking about the nine games that, like, shaped him as a person, as in his favorite games of all time, but also shaped him as a person. And I am so tempted to make my own little, it was like a three by three grid. I I'm really excited to kind of sit in my own free time and think of my own answers to this as well, because I actually feel like 
This will be like gaming therapy for me. I'm so interested to see what I'm going to put down. Because if I'd have made this video like, well, I'm not making a video. But if I'd have made this little grid like two years ago, I think my, my games list would be really different. But I've played some stuff in the past two years where I'm like, oh, I'm I'm changing. Like, I'm, I'm different, right? For example, The Witcher 3 would go really high on my list. I've never played a game like The Witcher 3 before uh, until I played it, right? But I think that shaped me because that was the first game where I was so in love with it where I had to do absolutely everything. Like, I've done every quest, every side quest. I've got every Gwent card and, and all this in a game genre which I'd never enjoyed before. I just find it wild. Obviously, Terraria is different. Terraria is obviously at the number one spot. But then I would wonder about, like, for example, when I was a kid, my favorite games of all time were the Pokemon games, right? The one from when I was a child, right? And if you'd have asked me years ago, I probably would have put those on the 9x9 grid. But I dislike what they're doing with Pokemon so much, I can't bring myself to do it. And I'm like, well, does it still count? Because it clearly did have an impact on me. Like, I used to use those original Pokemon games to, like, improve my reading ability, which is so funny, <laughs> given the context of this series. But it is true. Okay, we're dead. It's fine. Don't even worry about it. But I'm curious, what would you put on your 9x9 grid if you can't come up with nine don't worry because it is a deep thinking question give me like at least five you have to you have to give at least five so what would i give as my quick five my quick five would be terraria witcher 3 assassin's creed 2 that was the first game i played where i was like oh i am playing this for the story i'm loving the story of this game i've never really played a game like that before but i do i love that game so much Although it hasn't aged at all. <laughs> like, well at all. You have to make this a crimson altar. Who decided that? Red. <laughs> That's so wrong. Okay, yeah. Um, What are my other two games before I quickly wrap up? Okay. This is really hard on the spot. What do I give? Um, Ooh, Portal 2. Portal 2 was the first game I played where I was like, oh, this is perfect. And I wouldn't change a single thing about it. It's just beautiful. Every little bit of that game is flawless. Then what would my last game be? Hmm. I'm really struggling. Um. This is a cheap answer. I'm going to say Breath of the Wild. <laughs> but I'd have to really think about it. Right, I'm going to have a think about that. Maybe for tomorrow. But right, okay. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all tomorrow. Peace.